If you're new to golf and you're not sure what you should wear your first time out, then don't worry because in this video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know from head to toe. So all golf courses, whether they're public or private, have some sort of standard of dress. And this dates back to the traditions and the start of golf, where golf was classed as a gentleman's game. And golfers love etiquette. It's, it's weird, but we do. I don't know why, it's just part of the game. So as a beginner golfer, I want to make sure that you go out there prepared so that you can have the best experience possible out there on the golf course and you don't need to be worried about if you're underdressed or overdressed, all right? So all courses have that standard of dress, as I mentioned before, and we're gonna start with the shoes, okay? Golf shoes are a good investment if you're just starting out in golf, okay? Let me explain why. Golf shoes have a lot of cleats on the bottom to help you grip the ground when you're making your swing. Uh, these are pretty old and worn out. I probably need to get a new pair, but um, golf shoes are required at most courses. Now, here's a little secret for you, okay? Because of the modern day golf shoe, it, before they used to look like old wingtip, you know, dress shoes, and you, you could really tell what were golf shoes and what were tennis shoes. But because of modern golf shoes have adapted so much and look so much like tennis shoes, it's hard to tell for anybody whether or not you're wearing actual golf shoes. So if you're a brand new golfer, and you're a little bit strapped for cash and you don't want to buy dedicated golf shoes, then go out there in tennis shoes. Perfectly okay, nobody is gonna know the difference. And I've never been stopped by the guy at the pro shop or the marshal on the course to ask if I have actual golf shoes on and will I show the bottom of the shoe to them, okay? That's never happened, won't happen to you, you'll be just fine. So, I do recommend getting some golf shoes. Eventually, they are uh, very useful. They provide a nice stable base but if you're strapped for cash, you're just beginning, don't worry to rock those tennis shoes out there on the golf course. Let's talk about some don'ts for shoes, okay? Do not wear boots on a golf course. It will damage the greens, and you'll probably be asked to leave until you get proper footwear for a golf course, okay? They want to maintain the golf course for all golfers involved, so just don't wear boots. Flip-flops on a golf course. I don't know when this became the thing to do. I've seen plenty of guys go out there and play golf in flip-flops. What? what it's not the beach, okay? You don't need to be wearing flip-flops on a golf course, bro. It just looks weird. Nobody wants to see your toes, man. Just put them away, okay? Wear the tennis shoes, rock on, all right? Now, moving on to pants. Obviously, we're all gonna wear pants. If you don't, you got bigger problems than wanting to be a golfer. So let's talk about the type of pants that you can wear out there because yes, there are even rules for pants. So we're gonna start with denim, okay? I just realized I wear a lot of earth-toned Clothing. What does that say about me? Now, on most private courses, denim jeans are not acceptable, okay? I have played in denim before on public courses, and really, you got to get a feel for it. Some public courses are really, really particular about the clothing that you can wear. Others are a little more lenient, so I would just kind of get a feel for it. If you do show up in denim and somebody says something, just let them know it's your first time out. They'll probably just let you play anyway and just let you know next time, hey, wear a different set of pants, not denim. Personally, I'd probably just go to another course that uh, wouldn't really care about denim on a golf course. If you're concerned about that, you wanna avoid that whole weird situation anyway, a guy talking about your pants. I got this set of pants from TJ Maxx, They're around 25 bucks. It's a breathable material, which I really like for those springtime uh, golf outings because in the morning when the weather's cooler, you want some more coverage for your legs. And then uh, midday when it warms up, they're breathable enough that you're not, um, you're not roasting in them. Any type of pants that aren't denim will be just fine. Although I would recommend against corduroy because that gets really hot and that's a little dressy for golf. And definitely don't be wearing dress pants because you don't need to guys, that's just weird, okay? So there you have it for the pants. Now we're gonna talk about shorts, okay? These are unacceptable shorts for a golf course. Do not wear jorts, do not wear cutoffs, do not wear holy shorts, okay? That's just weird, guys. That's really, really weird, all right? These should be for, I don't know, something else other than golf. Don't don't be bringing your, your cutoffs to uh, the golf course. Now, all golf courses allow shorts, so don't hesitate to wear them, just maybe avoid the cutoffs. All right, now, shirts. All golf courses require collared shirts, okay? And collared shirts, I mean, any type of collared shirt will work. If you've got like a button up with a collar on it, that's fine. Uh, these type of polo shirts are, are preferred among golfers because they offer a lot of breathability and flexibility in your swing. Also, if you guys like any of the rough golf clothing you see in this video, I've got a link to my merchandise store down below. 
help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. So collared shirts are required for those golf courses. Now, there's a caveat, and I know I'm gonna get hit for it in the comments. Some people are gonna say, hey bro, I wear my favorite sleeveless tee to the golf course, and I've never had anybody say anything. Some public courses will allow you to do that, but I guarantee you, if you were to go to a semi-private course, which is like a nicer public course, or a private course, you are gonna have somebody approach you and say, that is unacceptable attire for a golf course, okay? Respect the traditions, all right? Every golf course is gonna be a little bit different, especially those public courses. But as a beginner golfer, if you stick with this basic setup, you're gonna be A-OK. -okay. You're not gonna to have to worry about whether or not you're underdressed or overdressed. You're gonna be squared away. So collared shirt is required. Now, now t-shirts are a gray area because some courses are okay with you showing up in a t-shirt. I play at a public golf course that is cool with t-shirts because they just want people out there golfing, having a good time. So if you're really nervous about it, just stick with the traditional uniform and you're gonna be a-okay, all right? After you get there for your first time, if you see other people wearing t-shirts and jeans or whatever, then that, then you know the next time you go back, it's okay if you wanna wear those, if you're more comfortable in those types of clothes. Now this is only for the golf course, okay? If you're going to Top Golf or you're going to a dedicated driving range, they, you don't need to worry about dressing up for that, all right? This is just for golf courses, so keep that in mind. So the last thing I wanna talk about is a hat. Now, hats are not required, but highly recommended, all right? Golf gets hot. Number one, out there in the summer, it's sunny and you need some shade and protection from your eyes when you're watching the ball fly out and to see where it lands. And then also, if you're like me and you're in the rough a lot, you know, you might have stuff falling from trees. You know, you got branches and pine cones and angry squirrels and so wearing a hat is a good idea. To recap on the basic uniform for golf, golf shoes, pants that aren't jeans, and a collared shirt. It's that simple, okay? If you go with those three items, then you are gonna be okay at any golf course in the world. There's not one golf course you can go to where you're gonna be criticized for your dress, okay? Guys, if you like this video, then check out this playlist right here. It's got tons of videos about how to get started in the game of golf. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on swinging.